Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster and what kind of went on with that. So in 1986, January 28th, 73 seconds into the flight, the Challenger Space Shuttle um, had problems and ended up going down, crashing, killing all seven crew members. Um, the cause of this disaster was the failure of the primary and secondary redundant O-rings and the seals and a joint in the shallows in the right solid rocket booster. So with record low temps the morning of the flight of the launch, um, the O-rings stiffened up, um, reducing their ability to seal the joints. Um, so this was a disaster that killed seven people, which is, which is serious and never want this. Um, this puts NASA, um, come on, like they're the base of the, of the launch. This puts them in a really tough situation with financial problems and just a, a bad rep on their name. But personally, I think NASA, what they could have done differently in this situation is, is checking, check up on engineers, check up on building the rocket, check up on launch day. If there's anything sketchy or anything that's not, um, as planned, they need to reduce that risk for example this was the day of the launch was record low temperatures um that is something that probably isn't the best if they've never had that situation also double checking everything doing role plays and if this goes wrong what goes wrong i'm sure they do that a lot but i think nasa could do just a little bit better job on that um because this is the last thing that they want the na the man roger boydley he was the engineer behind this rocket and especially the part that went wrong um, this is a tough situation for him because I'm sure him and his co-workers were um, very excited for this launch and, and with this problem it, it puts their life at risk. If they get fired then they might not have a job for the rest of their lives. Personally I think that it wasn't on purpose. Um, I think if it were me I would interview him, have many specialists come in to see if he did this intentionally on purpose to try and kill the crew members but knowing knowing him and reading about him wasn't on purpose and I think NASA should give them him a second chance of continue to work and to to grow this this company and also with the future of engineering professional responsibilities in relation to both being loyal to management and protecting the public welfare is super important first of all when we're talking about lives that is that is priority talking about seven crew member lives is priority so I think first of all we need to remember how serious this is when we do um, space shuttles and we do launches into space with high risk it's it's very important to talk about life and it's also a good balance that you need to have with public welfare protecting everyone and being loyal so i think this is what is good and it's yeah thank you so much